guys, it's Melinda. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a everyday makeup look for dry skin. So I have very dry skin. I hate powder. I hate honestly winter time because my skin just gets so dried out and I hate that tight feeling that my skin can get, especially when I have makeup on. But I am finally starting to figure out how to make products work for my dry skin. So if you also have dry skin and you're looking for a very natural everyday makeup look, this video is for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Prepping your skin is the most important part when it comes to keeping it hydrated throughout the entire day. This is not sponsored. It feels like a sponsored part of my video, but okay. The, I have two products. This is all I need for my dry skin and they are not super affordable, but if you're gonna invest anywhere, invest in your skincare and buy all your makeup drugstore because I've tried both and affordable hydrating skincare, if you have like very, very dry skin, it just does not do it. Like I've tried the, the ordinary hyaluronic acid stuff no, my skin is dry again in a couple hours. This on the other hand, the CauseRx Hyaluronic Acid Serum is so good. This is the best hyaluronic acid serum I've ever tried and I've tried a lot. Now, I do buy this on sale at TJ Maxx because it is very pricey. I think it's like 40 bucks brand new, so it's not crazy but it's not $5 at the drugstore. And then I use the Ultra Repair Hydro Firm Night Cream by First Aid Beauty. This is a like really intense, like I said, night cream, but my skin is so dry. I use this during the day. It's really thick, but not so thick that it feels like, like there are some creams like the Dime Beauty Moisturizer, for example, where I feel like it's so thick, it's not even hydrating. It's just putting a barrier over my skin so that the hydration can't leave but I still need something to hydrate. So this is so good. It's thick, but it's still moisturizing. It lets my skin breathe. It's not totally just like sealing it off. It's not greasy. This combo keeps my skin hydrated literally all day. This is amazing. Invest your money here if you're going to anywhere. So good. Okay, back to the video. So um, I did go into work this morning, so I do have a little bit of a, um, like a BB cream on, but that is it. And I'm just going to put my makeup over top of it. So I do use a lot of drugstore products because I just feel like you can get such good quality at the drugstore. So you're definitely going to see a lot of drugstore products throughout my routine. And, um, I'm also going to give you guys like some different options in case you want a little bit of a variety to pick from, but I'm going to start off with this, um, the minimalistic by Merit. So I am in the shade linen and this is like a perfect match for me. So, um, I go back and forth between using this and then using my L'Oreal serum foundation, which I really love. This actually gives me a little bit more coverage though. And as you can see, I do have redness on my cheeks. So I do like this for the coverage and this is just so easy. I think that if you are a beginner in makeup and you just get a little bit overwhelmed by products, I think that Merit is a really good brand because they have super simple stuff that's just easy to use. And like this, for example, I use this as my foundation and concealer, and that is just like one less product I have to have in my makeup bag. So I really love that. And I am using a brush, but you can also use a damp sponge, which I actually would recommend for dry skin. Mine just looks so gross. I didn't want to show it on camera today, but I love applying my base products with a damp Real Technique sponge. They are so good. It's just like really hydrating and cooling on the skin if you have damp skin, like damp skin. If you have dry skin, sometimes a brush can be a little bit too dry and abrasive and just uncomfortable. I don't set my whole face and I don't set my under eyes. I find that this product um, really can self set for the most part. And um, I'll start to get a little bit of a crease. I'll tap it out once and then that's it. It doesn't really crease again throughout the day. But to set my eyelids, I use this Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder and this is in the shade Fair Light. So I just take a little bit of this and I'll literally just set my eyelids because those definitely crease a lot more. If you are wanting a setting powder for your face that doesn't look super powdery and heavy though, this one by e.l.f., the Halo Glow Setting Powder, this is so good and lightweight. I actually, part of me wants to put it on and show you guys, maybe I will just a little bit, just so you can see how not powdery this looks on dry skin. like. Everyone always like recommends these powders and they're like, oh, it, it's undetectable on your skin. They always look heavy on me, but this one doesn't and it's from the drugstore. 
which is amazing. And I'm just kind of setting my T-zone where my products look oily. I'm not oily, I'm dry, <laughs> but my products can tend to look a little bit too glowy there. Let me give you guys a close up. I don't know what this footage is gonna look like, but as you can see, hopefully it is just super lightweight looking. So for dry skin, the more cream products you can use, the better. So today I'm gonna be using the Refi Cream Bronzer in Dune and I love this. It is like looking rough, but it's so good. So I love a glowy cream bronzer. Any extra glow I can get on my skin, I'm just so happy about. And a, like cream products are just gonna give you that little extra glow and hydration. And I don't really feel the need to set my cream products. I feel like this one and the Merit, the Merit bronzer is really good too if you want more of a sheer bronzer that you can wear on like no makeup makeup days. Um, I prefer this one because it has a little bit more coverage and I just prefer it a little bit more. But I don't find the need to set either one. They both last really well for me. I like to put some on my nose too. And then I do like to bronze my neck and for that I use a powder bronzer because I don't want to use my like precious cream bronzer. So I use the Maybelline City Bronzer and this is really good too if you want a good powder bronzer. Since this is a makeup routine for dry skin, I am going to be using a cream blush in today's video just because that is what I tend to gravitate towards when my skin's feeling super dry. And I am going to be using the Merit Blush in Stockholm. It's a really pretty baby pink shade. These are like so popular right now, these shades in particular. But if you want a good affordable powder bronze or powder blush, oh my gosh, why do I keep calling it a bronzer? The Palladio Matte Blush in poised this is such a beautiful shade especially for fair skin like i love colors like this it's just a really pretty like mauvey pink shade really really pretty and this one i love i don't know if it's discontinued because i bought it on clearance at walmart but this is keep it peachy by wet and wild this gives you a really beautiful like bronzy um super sun kiss look it looks really yellow and i honestly kind of love that i don't know what it is but i'm just obsessed anyways i'm going to be using this today and i'm just going to take my brush on it i have noticed that if i just swipe it straight on my skin that sometimes it'll pick up the product underneath it and i don't love that but these are super glowy and lightweight all of merit's products across the board are just like really natural and lightweight and really really good but i love blush right now as like everybody does it's just so fun i put on way too much and i'm so happy about it i hope you guys can see like how glowy my skin looks you don't have to have oily skin to have beautiful glowing skin if you have the right products all right next for my highlight i'm going to be using this very old becca opal highlighter i just love it it's so pretty i love a cream highlight i don't know if they discontinued this for my eyeshadow i love these little solo shadows that they recently came out with and the color mid-century is so beautiful it's like the perfect everyday just like neutral eyeshadow in my opinion and I'm obsessed with it I'll just put this like right on the corner of my eye sometimes I use a brush sometimes I use my finger kind of depends on my mood um you do have to work with these like kind of quickly or they will set down I also have like there's a purple shade by them that I have too I think it starts with an s and it's so pretty it's like a cool tone like grayish purple all the shades look incredible i want to get more of them my husband bought me this one for my birthday and i love it all right and then i always like to do a little wing i just feel like it make i like the way it makes my eye shape look and for that i use this milani bold obsessions palette this is such a pretty palette like so many good neutral shades and um the shimmer shades, like the formula is incredible. I love this palette. I just used a dark brown just for a little brown wing. I love a brown wing. It's so natural, perfect for just like every day, but it adds a little extra something. And I just love the way it makes my eyes look. Oh, and this brush is from e.l.f. It's a concealer brush. Now for brows, I love these e.l.f. brow pencils. This is an ultra precise brow pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. These are really good for a super natural look, but also I feel like you could get a bolder look if you do want that. I just do light strokes at the front. 
just to give me a little bit more of a square shape there and fill in any spots. And then I always like to blend it back out with the spoolie. Then next up is this ColourPop Freckle Pen. This is in the shade Soft Brown. I needed to get a new one though because this one's like practically dried up. But I love adding freckles. And then you can kind of tap over it if you feel like they're too dark or you did too much. All right, now for mascara. My favorite for years has been the Maybelline, the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. It's really good. Really quickly before I do my um, under eye mascara, I just want to show you how good my under eyes are looking right now. I haven't set them. They're not creasing, like even though I have lines under my eyes. The Minimalist really just like sets itself and stays so natural looking and... I love it. For lip products, I want to give you guys a couple different options. The first one being this Tinted Lip Oil by Merit. This is in the shade Mapleton. These are really pretty. I don't normally wear these if I have a full face on like I do right now. I'll typically do this if I'm wearing like no makeup at all or if I just have on like um, a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream, but these are really pretty. I take that back. I actually would totally wear it like this. I just don't tend to, but I do like this. So this is this option. I feel like it's really helpful to see lipstick on fair skin because it looks a lot different and it tends to be a lot more pigmented and saturated on fair skin. I'm typically like the lightest shade of foundation and lipstick doesn't always look the best on me unless it's like the perfect undertone because it just always looks like too pink or too orange or too whatever like my fair skin just brings out all of the saturation of the product so it's hard to find a nude that's just like neutral and not too pink or orange next up is the merit lipstick this is the signature lip in the shade baby and i prefer to put these on in a super light layer i just feel like that is what they're kind of intended for to be super lightweight and these are very very pretty it's just like a nice little pinky purpley like mauve nude for fair skin it's really pretty actually i kind of love that with the blush i might put this one on it wasn't the one i was planning on wearing we'll see Okay, next up, I'm not gonna put both of these on. I might swatch them for you, but super good lip liners for fair skin. The Jaclyn Hill lip liner in the shade Bourbon is so good. This is such a pretty, it's a little bit deeper, but it's just such a good neutral. Just a, a simple mauve. <laughs> you guys, I'm not a makeup channel, okay. Um, and then the Milani Color Statement lip liner in the shade 03 Nude. This one's more pinky and they look pretty similar but this one's a little bit lighter and it's really really pretty i love both of these this is the one i was planning on wearing so i'm going to go ahead and put this on and i do like to pull it in a little bit to blend it a little easier today i'm going to be wearing this wet n wild liquid cat suit this is a high shine in the shade send nudes this is a perfect nude for fair skin, I love this, especially with this Milani lip liner. And then I just wanted to shout out my longtime favorite nude by L'Oreal. This is in the shade Ferris Nude. So I did swatch them. This is L'Oreal and then this is the Merit lipstick. And I was just talking about how I love both of these. And if you don't want to spend the money on the Merit lipstick, then I have no complaints about this L'Oreal lipstick. Like this is so amazing. It's so long wearing. They're both really beautiful. On a day-to-day -day basis, I do prefer the L'Oreal lipstick. However, for the fall, this is a pinch deeper. So it is really pretty and nice. Um, but yeah, just two beautiful options for you depending on your budget. And yeah, that completes this video, you guys. I hope this was helpful. This is my go-to makeup, honestly, like, all throughout the year but especially in the colder months when my skin is drier I avoid powder like the plague if I can and just like I I want nothing to do with the matte products I want all the shine all the time and this makeup will last me like eight hours through the day no problem I mean it's gonna wear off in like some places where I'm like touching my face and stuff but for the most part it really holds up and I love all of these products. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you guys want more makeup content in the future. I'd be happy to make that. And follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes content and just like extra content. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I want to show you guys what my makeup looks like in natural lighting and how glowy it is. Love this makeup.